Hi, it's Mrs. Griffin. In this lesson, we're going to talk about perimeter and area. Let's start with perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. So if we were going to walk all the way around a figure, it's how far we would walk. Basically, you add all the sides together to find the perimeter. There's a couple of figures that have an actual formula for their perimeter. One is a rectangle, and its formula is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. This also works for a square or a parallelogram. It would look something like this. If here's our rectangle, and this is our length, and this is our width, we multiply our length times 2 and add it to the width times 2. The other figure would be a circle. Its perimeter is called the circumference, but it's still the, the distance around the figure, the circumference. And you can use either one of these either 2 times pi times the radius or pi times the diameter. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. The diameter is the distance all the way across through the center. It's twice the radius. That's why these are the same formula. And pi is 3.14 or 22 over 7. Now let's talk about the area. The area is the space inside a figure, so you're trying to figure out how much space you have inside. There's several formulas for all the shapes that we have. First is a triangle. The area of a triangle can be found by multiplying the base times the height and dividing it by 2. The base and the height are always perpendicular or at a right angle to each other. In this case, this is our base and this is our height. Then we have a rectangle, and to find the area of a rectangle, you simply multiply the length times the width. Again, this will also work for a square or a parallelogram. We can find the area of a trapezoid by multiplying one half times the height plus times a plus b. What that means is the height again is perpendicular. A and b are the two bases of the parallelogram. They're the two of, of the trapezoid. I'm sorry. They're the two parallel sides. So they're a and b. And don't forget you're adding them and multiplying them times half the height. And then finally, we've got a circle again, and its area is pi r squared. Remember, the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. You square it and then multiply it times pi, which again was 3.14 or 22 over 7. So let's go ahead and do some examples. Find the perimeter and area. Here we've got a triangle. So to find the perimeter, we simply just need to add the sides as though we're walking around it. So 3 plus 5 plus 4. 3 plus 5 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So the perimeter of our triangle is 12 centimeters. And don't forget your units. The area of a triangle can be found by multiplying the base times the height and dividing it by 2. Write down your formula and then substitute in. In this case, the base is 4, and the height is perpendicular at a right angle, so that's 3. 4 times 3 divided by 2. 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Area is always in square units, so it's 6 centimeters squared. And now let's take a look at this trapezoid. Start by finding the perimeter. Again, we just need to walk around and add the sides together. I'll let you work on that one. Click Continue when you're done. Welcome back. I hope you added 1.2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. And you should have gotten 7.2 inches for your perimeter. So I hope you got that for your answer. And now for the area is 1 half the height times adding the bases together. Remember the bases A and B are our parallel sides. So in this case, 2 plus 3. We multiply that times 1 half the height, and the height is perpendicular to the bases, which is 1. Half of 1 is a half. 2 plus 3 is 5. Half of 5, or 1 half times 5 over 1, is 5 over 2, or 2 and a half. And don't forget your units, so it's 2 and a half square inches. Don't forget the area is always in square inches, or square units. Okay, so that does it for our lesson on area and perimeter. Remember, perimeter is the distance around, area is found the space inside. You can use your formulas above, and you might need to memorize them. So good luck working with perimeter and area. 
and good luck with the rest of your homework. Great job today. If you need more help with pre-algebra, you can sign up for Nutshell Math, and I hope to see you there.